Well, today I want to talk about massacres, okay, that we just had at the Ataturk Airport in uh, Turkey. A terrible, terrible uh, a terrorist attack it killed 41, uh, injured 246, something like that, and I'm sure more will die. Awful, awful thing. And then you look at um, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, which uh, two rival gangs, one a mafia gang uh, back in the peak of the mafia story, uh, killed seven uh, gangsters from another gang. They called it the St. Valentine's Day Massacre because it occurred on St. Valentine's Day. And then when you look at just simple mistakes, uh, poor skills, uh, bad judgment, um, not paying attention to details, each day, medical doctors in America kill 688 people, okay? That adds up to 251,000 and some change per year. And this just came out from uh, Johns Hopkins uh, Medical School, did this survey looking at death certificates. This is based on actual death certificates. And it's one of those things which are absolutely shocking. 251,000 and some change every year. This is a yearly figure. Doctors get a walk. They don't even get an OSHA ticket. They, they don't get a suspension of the license for two seconds. They don't get um, a loss of their license. Nothing happens to them. And so I'm holding the um, medical associations of each state and the, the National American Medical Association responsible as enablers because they should be going after these doctors with tooth and claw as, as viciously and as aggressively as they can to stop this mayhem and massacre. 688 innocent patients a day, 251,000 some change a year. Well, how can we uh, as individuals get going here? Um, this, this carnage results in our children being the first generation of Americans who are not going to live as long as their parents. Okay, the government said that. Um, all the medical um, uh, journals have said that. And so why would our generation of kids be the first generation of Americans who do not live as long as their parents? Medical doctors are getting an F minus minus for a thousand minuses here. Well, I want everybody to get a hold of the book, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, the CD, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, the DVD, Dead Doctors Don't Lie. This introduced the whole concept back uh, in the uh, mid-1990s with the, with the audio cassette tape in 1992 and then the CD. And, you know, people were very skeptical. They well, this stuff can't be true. Well, uh, just in 2007, they pointed out, uh, this was a, point, it was a full-page newspaper article in the USA Today, that medical doctors each year, this is an annual figure, kill, injure, and infect 15 million of their patients every year. Of those 15 million killed, injured, and infected, 2 million infections occur in hospitals alone, of which 90,000 die. What if Iran or if Iraq were to infect 2 million people from a large population center with a biological weapon and kill 90,000 people. It'd be a declaration of war. And here we have one trade that kills 251,000 every year just from stupid mistakes because they're not paying attention or they lack skills or poor judgment or they're intoxicated with alcohol or drugs or street drugs. So we need to do something here. Get a hold of the book, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, the CD, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, the DVD, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, and it'll introduce you to the problem. Then I want you to get a hold of the trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, in the Passport to Aromatherapy, and we'll teach you how to do your own physicals for $2 and, well, no, it'll be $4.50 instead of $2,000, and it'll be much safer because you're doing it instead of the doctor. And we're talking about um, you'll be able to deal with over 900 different diseases using vitamins and minerals and trace minerals, amino acids, fatty acids, herbs, and aromatherapy oils. It's a trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport to Aromatherapy. And then don't forget epigenetics. Uh, the subtitle of epigenetics is the death of the genetic theory of disease transmission. When doctors failed and you died, they said, oh, you have bad genes. They, they brush it off on the genes. I couldn't figure out why they were missing it so badly. With all these massacre figures here, they are using the genetics as an escape code. That's not me. I didn't kill you. Uh -uh, it was your bad genes made you intolerant of the procedure. Okay? So epigenetics, the death of the genetic theory of disease transmission, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, the book, the CD, and the DVD, the trilogy books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Be Herbal Doctor, and the Passport Aromatherapy, and learn how to deal with over 900 different diseases using vitamins and minerals and trace minerals and rare earths, amino acids, fatty acids, herbs, aromatherapy oils. And don't forget, do your own physicals. Teach your kids how to do their own physicals. You can go to a pharmacy without a prescription, get the same test strips your doctor will do for blood tests, urine tests, the equivalent of a colonoscopic exam. You can weigh yourself. You can do your own 
um, pulse. You can do your own blood pressure. You don't need a doctor to find out if you have type 2 diabetes. If you're uh, urinating four or five times a day, uh, you're thirsty all the time, go in and get the test strips and the little sterile lancets from the pharmacy and do a, a little finger stick. Do your own blood test fasting before you eat breakfast in the morning and see what your blood sugar is. If it's 105 down to, say, 75, you're not a diabetic, but if it's 140, you're a diabetic. You don't need to go to a doctor to determine if you're a diabetic. You can do it yourself for a buck fifty. Okay, you don't have to spend all day in parking fees and all this kind of stuff. Um, that's why we want you to take care of yourself. Take care of your kids. Just remember, only dead doctors don't lie. Okay, Doug, what pearls of wisdom do you have for us? Well, uh, this is one of these ones that uh, parts of it vindicate you, and it's a case of where the uh, dietician that wrote this got part of it right but got part of it wrong. It's headlined, Five Foods That Help Your Body Age Well. Say so you're making the right food choices even in your younger years. You can guarantee a healthier you as you age. And the first one is something called uh, rooibos tea. It's a South African herbal tea which provides a host of health benefits. It's naturally caffeine, contains fewer tannins than most other teas, and tannins are known to uh, leach out vitamins and minerals from the body. It's a good source of several antioxidants that you don't get from other foods. And that uh, rooibos tea... Uh, that's Afrikaans for Red Bull, because I, I spent two years there. I know the language very well, and uh, so it's a Red Bull tea. Oh, good. That's good to know. I wonder if the people that make that Red Bull drink here, if they're going to be wanting to try and trademark them. But uh, they, the next one, to number two, is salmon. It's, of course, it's healthy in omega-3s. It's well known that for its benefits. It have been proven over time when it comes to aging. Omega-3 fats help uh, alleviate common health problems that occur as we age, including fighting inflammation, treating depression. Also great source of calcium and vitamin D for good, healthy bones. The next one is blueberries, a process of the natural anti-carcinogenic pro uh, properties. Low calorie, rich in sweetness and flavor, blueberries are a great fiber snack and can be enjoyed by the handful. Also high in vitamin C, yet another val invaluable natural antioxidant. Here's where they take the left turn, though. Oats, so essentially a sim accessible whole grains that are nutrient-dense, providing several essential vitamins and minerals, naturally high in fiber. Oats are filling and can be served up hot or cold. The fiber helps clear out unwanted cholesterol, keeping your body cholesterol levels regulated. Important in maintaining heart health, so they got that one wrong. And then Brussels sprouts are a good source of vitamin B complex, which promote healthy immune system and provide uh, metabolism, uh, but, uh, healthy immune system and protein metabolism, that's it, so that your body uh, material is available to re-energize and repair. So the raw materials, I guess, they're talking about. So once again, you know, stuff you've been talking about for years, and, you know, for people that are gluten intolerant, you don't want to be eating those oats. No, that's true. And, of course, if you have low thyroid, you want to stay away from the um, Brussels sprouts because they do it's a cruciferous vegetable which does interfere with thyroid but uh, the concept is correct if you stay away from the bad foods no fried foods no processed meats with nitrates and nitrites no oils and no gluten uh, that'll increase the absorption capacity and efficiency of, of the right nutrients but you still have to supplement with all 90 Doug because you can't find all 90 in our food anymore and that's the problem there's epidemics now of Obesity, epidemics of diabetes, epidemics of arthritis, epidemics of Alzheimer's disease, um, because we can't get the nutrients out of our food anymore. So if people want to avoid all these diseases, they must supplement with all 90 essential nutrients. And again, I urge them to get a hold of the uh, trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport to Aromatherapy, and learn how to deal with over 900 different diseases using vitamins and minerals and trace minerals and rare earths, amino acids, fatty acids, herbs, and aromatherapy oils. Do not fractionate. Don't just take these foods and expect to get everything you need. Well, I'm, I'm eating Brussels sprouts. Well, uh, you might get some sulfur out of the deal. Uh, you might get some iron. Uh, you might get a few B vitamins. But where, what are you going to get the other um, 80 from? Okay? And so you must supplement. Otherwise, you're in trouble. And that's one of the reasons we're in trouble. Uh, doctors give us a lot of misinformation. Oh, just eat well. You get everything you need. Every time they say that, they should go to jail for 25 years of life and a possibility of parole. 
Thank you, Doug. And we'll be back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie after these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Idaho, and Glenn, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Oh, Glenn, you're on the air. Yes, hi, Dr. Wallach. Good to talk to yes, you sir. again. Um, you. I've been Let on your program you. for, oh, hi. I've uh, been on your program for about five years. I am uh, 5'11", weigh about 200 pounds, and uh, recently I had a very swollen salivary gland, still swollen. Uh, anyway, it's uh, painful, so I went in to the um, doctor, and he decided for me to have a sonogram, had the sonogram taken, and then I got the results, and they said there's a 2.2 centimeter mass on my thyroid. Well, they want to do blood work, uh, I mean, immediately, and they want to do a biopsy, and they want to just do a whole bunch of things over the next uh, couple of days. So I was just calling okay, now, you to... Sure. Did they call it a mass or a nodule? They called it a mass. Okay. Um, let's see, two by two centimeters is almost an inch in diameter. Okay. It's a pretty big little thing. Now, uh, were they thinking that that swelling or that swollen um, salivary gland uh, turned out to be the mass in your thyroid, or is that an incidental finding? The incidental. Yes. Okay. Now, the salivary gland that's swollen, is that the parotid gland underneath your right or left ear? I think it's a sub- um, sublingual. Uh, sublingual, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, so sublingual as opposed to the parotid. Okay, all right. Correct. Um, yeah. Well, you do need to know what that mass is. It's almost an, an inch in diameter, and so can you see it or feel it yourself, or is it internal in the thyroid gland? It's. I. I, I can't feel that mass, mm-hmm. um, so it must be internal. Okay. What I would do myself is say, you know, I'm going to go to the university. I'm going to go to the medical school. I want you to forward um, the, the CAT scan, the PET scan, the X-ray, whatever you took here, whatever kind of scan you took. I want you to send a copy of that to the pathologist there um, at the medical school and make an appointment with them. Go see them. Get a second opinion, okay, before you let this uh, private doctor go to all this stuff. Now, medical schools, the doctors there work on a salary, and it doesn't matter to them whether they find something bad or they find something neutral or good, uh, they're going to get paid the same. So there's no incentive for them to diagnose something bad. And okay, and so I would get a, I always get a second opinion when doctors want to do surgeries and biopsies and all this kind of stuff. So that's where I would go. And uh, stick with us here. I'll be back. And uh, uh, Sharon and I will give you something to do to uh, in the meantime. But I, I'd get a second opinion before I let them do anything. Back after these messages. Okay, uh, Douglas, go right back to Idaho and Glenn. Okay, Char, what would you do uh, for Glenn's diet here? He, he's um, got a calcium deficiency, which has resulted in a little stone in a sublingual uh, salivary gland, causing a swollen salivary gland. Okay, and uh, he's also got something going on in his thyroid gland. We don't know what it is yet. Uh, could be a, a benign cyst that he was born with. It could be a twin. Um, that uh, didn't make it, and he as an embryo engulfed it, uh, okay? Uh, and so there's all kinds of these little things that it could be. And so uh, just from a dietary standpoint, what would you do for him? Um, well, for his thyroid, I'd get him no cruciferous vegetables, right? Okay. And then he could take two, uh, I would get him two healthy brain and heart packs, and then he needs to add the ocean's gold to it, and he could add the... Um, Oxybody also. Okay, very good. And uh, you have to stay away from all the bad stuff, Glenn. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, and no cruciferous vegetables, as Shara says. 
That means uh, no cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and kale. And then um, two of the healthy brain and heart packs. Uh, it's one full dose of thing twice a day. The Ocean's Gold, take three of those twice a day. That makes the thyroid gland happy. Okay, it'll be two bottles a month. And then get that second opinion, and then uh, call us back and let us know what's going on. And stay away from carbonated drinks also. That'll help you absorb these minerals better. Uh, the thyroid gland, your salivary glands really love minerals, so uh, we need to make sure that's uh, efficiently done. Okay, Doug, do we have time to start another one? We certainly do. Let's head to California and Sydney. You're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Sydney. You're on the air. Okay, how you doing, Dr. Wallach? Um, Fine, sir. Thank you. Got, how can we help you? I got a problem. I talked to two doctors. I have uh, two cents and a third one is trying to rise, and they said that I need an operation, and there's no medicine I can take to correct it. So I'm trying to find okay. out you what should I take. Okay, well, I, I missed that first part of it. I didn't get the diagnosis. Okay, they said I, I got two cysts in my back, and I got a third one that's coming. And the second one, when I press down on it, it stings. So okay, now the, me, these, cysts, these cysts, how big are they? One is like a golf ball, and one is like a almost like a golf ball, and one is just coming up. Okay. And how long have you had them? Well, I had the first one. It seemed like uh, my wife took me about a year, and mm-hmm. I just noticed the other one about six months ago. And okay. the third one, I see it on my back now. So it's just small right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, um, are these squishy like they are, cysts, or fluid-filled? Uh, the, the first one... I can okay, we got to run to one of these message moments. Hang on a minute. We've got to run to this message moment. We'll be right back with you, Sydney, after these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go right back to California and Sydney. Again, I was asking before we had to run to the break, Sydney, what uh, are these cysts squishy, like they got fluid in them? Or are they firm, uh, like fatty tumors under the skin? They're firm, but the, the sec- both of them are firm, but the second one, when I press down on it, it stings. Okay. Um, again, I would get a second opinion. Um, I would go to a dermatologist, somebody who specializes in the skin, and uh, say, uh-huh. hey, you know, uh, I would definitely get a second opinion before I let somebody cut on me. And Because uh, a lot of these things, if they're filled with fluid, they're, they are truly a cyst. Uh, and maybe even um, uh, in an oil gland in the skin be filled with skin oils. Uh, Sometimes you just put a needle in them and, and suck all the juice out of them and uh, put something topically on top, anti-inflammatory stuff, and they'll shrink away. So it's not quite true that surgery is your only option here, depending on what these things that. are. Mm-hmm. So I, I would go to a, uh, to a dermatologist, a skin doctor, and get a second opinion there, okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. And okay. Then you, 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 sir? Okay. I have uh, – hello? Yes? Yes, I, I have uh, – uh, uh, this problem, and it goes down to my hip, to my knee, and it's always hurting. Okay, disc problem. Yes. Is this in your lower back? Is this in your lumbar area? In my, lo- my lower back. Okay. So, yeah, this is probably a peripheral neuropathy. Um, you have back pain, and the pain is running down your leg. Okay. So um, how much do you weigh, Sydney? I weigh one, uh, no, uh, yeah, 195 now. Okay, almost so 200 down. pounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, Char, what would you do for Sydney? You know, he's got a peripheral neuropathy. He's got a disc problem. The pain's running down his leg. What would you do for him? Almost 200 pounds. I'd give him two healthy bone and heart, uh, bone and joint packs. Okay, very, very good. Get an A-plus there. Yeah, I'd get yourself two healthy bone and joint packs. And um, uh, that would be, um, let's see here, an ounce of the OsteoFX Plus at breakfast and dinner, um, two scoops of the BTT 2.0 uh, um, breakfast and dinner, three of the e, uh, of the EFA pluses, and then of course fifteen glucogel a day. Five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner, and the two healthy bone and joint packs will also come uh, with each of them will come with a wide mouth jar of the CM cream, and you can apply the CM cream uh, to your lumbar area in your back because when you have the pain going down your leg, if you put it on your leg, you're not going to see any relief, but you put it on your back, that's where the pain originates because the nerves are being squeezed. You want to relieve the inflammation, and what would you add to that? CM cream, uh, Char, to make it more potent? Uh, the trauma oil. 
Very, very good. Yeah, I get the trauma oil from Ancient Legacy Division of Aromatherapy Oils and put five or six drops of the trauma oil in every teaspoon of the of the CM cream you're going to apply to your back. Mix it up real good so it's equally distributed. And you will get pain relief, either significant or total pain relief, for three to five hours. Obviously, you may have to apply it to twice or three times a day in the beginning. But uh, also, let us know what the dermatologist uh, says about those, quote, cyst, unquote, in your back. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. All right, let's head to Kansas. And Dwayne, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Dwayne, you're on the air. Yeah, Dr. Wallach. Uh, this is Dwayne yes, from Scott City, Kansas. And what I was calling about, I've already ordered some product from one of your associates, and uh, okay. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit. Uh, my main problem right now is I've got high blood pressure, and I'm taking medicine. I'm taking atinol. I, I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but hydrochlorothiazide. And, mm-hmm. and yeah, it's a water pill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and amlodipine or amlodipine. Mm-hmm. And uh, my problem is uh, that here in the last couple months, it seems like something has changed. Like I can't do any physical exercise whatsoever, just the slightest bit, and my blood pressure spikes. Mm-hmm. Just okay, well, how much do you weigh? Yeah, how much uh, you weigh? A little overweight. I'm five foot five, weigh 186. Okay. You have any other issues? Any skin problems? Eczema, dermatitis, or psoriasis? Uh, no, I do. You have any? I got, some, I got some age spots. Okay. Do you have any history of asthma, bronchitis? Uh, no, sinus, sinus, some sinus. Mm-hmm. Did you ever have any bowel problems? Any irritable bowel syndrome, diverticulitis, colitis, constipation, diarrhea, anything like that? Uh, some constipation. And I okay. just wonder. I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, I'm just going to ask Char here. Okay, here's Dwayne, uh, 186 pounds. He's got a high blood pressure that kind of comes and goes. And he's already kind of on really, some face. It really spikes if I try to do anything. I get pains across the chest and the arms, mm-hmm. just really ache, and I, you know, get shorter breath. And if I sit down, mm-hmm. it'll come right back down, but it'll go up like 235 or 105 or something. Okay, well, how, then, long have you had high, how long have you had high blood pressure problems? Well, I've had blood pressure problems probably for about, oh, 10, 20 years I've been taking these medicines. Mm-hmm. Okay. And All right. This and just, kidneys, this just kidneys happened are okay? Here. Okay. But kidneys are okay? No problems there? Uh, the last test, I go in for blood work about every three to six months, mm-hmm. and the kidneys are, I think they said they're operating somewhere somewhere around maybe 70%, and they told me that's mm-hmm. probably because of blood pressure medicine. Okay. That's possible. It could also be because you're getting some obstruction of the little arteries carrying the dirty blood into the um, kidneys filtering units, and the high blood pressure could be related, as he said, to the kidneys, or the, um, you know, you don't know which one comes first. It's the chicken or the egg thing. Uh, uh-huh. The high blood pressure could have been first, or the kidney problems could have been first. And so uh, what would you do for this guy, Char? Well, personally, what I would give him, because... There's two possibilities with a high blood pressure, but I would give him two healthy bone and joint packs. Then I would add the Ultimate Daily Classic, the Niacin Plus, and the Cardio Sticks. Mm-hmm. So whatever's wrong, it will fix itself. And he's got to be careful because when he takes all this stuff, his blood pressure is going to go down. So he's got to cut off some of his medicine as it yeah. goes down. Okay, okay very good. And, and Char's correct. And because you have a reduced kidney function. It could be due to the medication, but it could be due to PAD, um, a peripheral artery disease. We get some blocked arteries carrying the dirty blood into the filtering units of the kidney. And so, Char is quite correct. Uh, you should take uh, two of the healthy uh, bone and joint packs per month, a full dose of everything twice a day. Uh, then she's added, uh, quite correctly, the um, Ultimate Daily Classic tablets, three of those twice a day. It'll be two bottles a month. Uh, two of the uh, ultimate cardio sticks a day, one at breakfast, one at dinner time, two boxes a month, they come 30 in a box. And then two of the of the ultimate niacin plus twice a day, that's two bottles a month. Uh, this is a time-release, non-flush niacin. And between the ultimate niacin plus, the ultimate cardio sticks, and the ultimate, um, uh, let's see, excuse me, um, the ultimate, yeah, the ultimate daily classic tablets, they're, they're designed to support and promote healthy blood pressure. Um, They're going to support and promote healthy blood flow through obstructed arteries. And you want to be taking your blood pressure um, every day when you do this because you're on medication for blood pressure. So as your blood pressure drops, and it will, as it begins to drop, it'll drop sort of steadily. As it drops, you can begin to reduce your medication uh, just based, you know, on the numbers. Just don't cold turkey quit all, all your blood pressure medication. 
Uh, if you're on three blood pressure medication, you could pick one and reduce it by 10%. And your blood pressure keeps going down, you could reduce another one by 10% and so on. And uh, uh, you go to the doctors once every couple of months anyway, so uh, you can double check with him and let them take your blood pressure too. But keep us informed, Dwayne. We'll work with you. We'll be back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie after these messages. We're back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS Radio Network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Young Jimmy, 95 Crusade. And Doug, let's go to callers. All right, let's head to Kentucky. And Bruce, you're on with Dr. Wallach. No, well, Bruce, you're on the air. Yes, Dr. Wallach. Um, I have a friend of mine. She's up the road, and she has West Nile virus. And the doctor said that there was no cure for that. And I know you hopefully would think differently than that. How could okay. we help her? Okay, well, West Nile virus has to do with horses and stuff, and Kentucky is a horse place, so it's, it's not unusual for human beings to get West Nile virus. They kind of run together, horses carry it, and mosquitoes bite horses, and flies bite horses, and then flies and mosquitoes bite people, and they transfer the virus. That's how it happens. But um, how old is this woman? She's about 39, 40. Okay, and how much does she weigh? She weighs about 100 and... Maybe 30 pounds. Okay. All right. Char, this is a Char thing. Uh, of course, this is a virus disease. It can be chronic if the body's immune system isn't working at 100%. So what would you do as a general health diet and also a general supplement program? And then specifically, what would you do to support her immune system to deal with the viruses? Well, I'd get her, I'd get her on a healthy start pack, and then I'd get her on the killer biotic and... Uh... Maybe the oxybody. Mm hmm. Okay. Very, very good. So, um, yeah, 130 pounds, the one healthy uh, start pack, which is kind of a basic program, um, a half a dose of everything twice a day. What, what else would you give her to support her immune system? Mm. How about some selenium? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, let's have her take uh, three selenium twice a day, be two bottles a month. That's to support the immune system. And Ashar said the killer biotic is a blend of eight herbs uh, which support the immune system, and two of them actually have antimicrobial properties which can kill um, bugs such as bacteria and viruses, fungus, and yeast. And then uh, the oxybody is a great uh, uh, supporting immune system. It's, a, uh, it's an oxygen supplement. And 130 pounds, if she has a chronic infection with West Nile, I'd give her two quarts a month of the oxybody. And it's kind of a cherry berry flavor kind of thing. Very pleasant. Kids like it. So I'd get her two quarts a month so she could take an ounce a half hour before breakfast, an ounce a half hour before dinner time. And uh, certainly, uh, what what in the bad foods would you ke keep out of her diet to keep all the inflammation away? Oh, all oils, no margarine, no salad oils, no olive oil, uh, no burnt animal fat, none of that. No, no fried foods and no processed meats with with uh, nitrates and nitrites. And so you got to get rid of all the bad stuff and relieve all the inflammation and give her these nutrients. And, of course, hanging around horses and things and being in this, the horse state, the Kentucky uh, state, I would definitely keep her on the 90 cents of nutrients. And um, our goal here is to support her immune system so her own immune system can uh, either eliminate or drive the West Nile virus outside of her. Okay? And thank you very much, Bruce. And keep us informed. Let us know next time she goes to the doctor um, and she can start the diet right now. Uh, it's going to take uh, three to five days, of working days, to get the product to, from the West Coast to Kentucky, as they say. And uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you in a couple of weeks. Let us know how she's doing. Okay, how are we doing here, Doug? Got about 45 seconds. Okay, 45 seconds. Uh, now, Shar has been working with me for 25 years. She has a high school education and no training in medicine. And what has driven you to become passionate? What's been driven you to become a student of this information, Star, so you can help so many people? What, what's driven you to do this? Well, because the two conspiracies are money and health, and I truly believe that they're doing everything they can to wipe us out. And uh, they're using the medical profession to thin the herd, 
the government keeps records. They know what's going on. They know that the doctors are the number one and number three cause of death of Americans, and they let it go on. They let the carnage go on, and we got to do all we can to stop it and and protect people from the medical institution. Yeah. At the very least, even if, if somebody doesn't believe in the conspiracy theories, in the very least, the medical associations at the federal and state level are enablers. The doctors are killing, just by mistake, they kill 251,000 Americans every year, and they're enablers. Nobody goes after these people, you know, like they did the, the, the mafia. Okay, thank you, Char. Super job as usual. Thank you so much, Doug and Richard. Super job as usual. And um, God bless each and every one of you. God bless our troops. God bless our Navy SEALs. And God bless America. Hi, everyone. Andy Anderson here. Are you using those handy little bottles of gel that zap germs, bacteria, and other nasties? In today's world, that's smart, especially with all the filthy doorknobs, shopping carts, and handrails we touch every day. Here's what you may not know. Once the alcohol evaporates, goodbye effectiveness. No more protection until you use it again. Pure works to the rescue. Our FDA-compliant foam, lotion, soap, and spray do not rely on alcohol. Their killing power lasts up to four hours. Pure Work Disinfecting Spray is EPA certified to kill swine flu, bird flu, MRSA, HIV, hepatitis B and C, and a whole host of viruses and bacteria, mold and fungus too. It's even safe around children and pets. You'll love the soft feel of Pure Works on your hand. It actually conditions that will not dry your skin. Here's a little peace of mind knowing your hands are still germ-free hours later. Get your hands on Pure Works and get Pure Works on your hands. Stand by. Pull out your paper and pencil for your local number to order Pure Works. You've listened to physician and veterinarian Dr. Joel Wallach help many people on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie talk radio program. You've also heard hundreds of people tell how Dr. Wallach and Longevity products have changed their lives. If you're now convinced that Dr. Wallach is onto something and you want to try Longevity's premium quality products for yourself, we can connect you with a distributor that serves your local area. Simply call our special helpline voicemail at 313 444 3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call right now and leave your name, telephone number, or email address, and we'll see to it that the right person contacts you shortly. Remember, the phone number, 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call now to change your life. That's 313 444 Hi, this is Dr. Joel Wallach, your host of Dead Doctors Don't Lie. If you're interested in a colon cleanse, blood cleanse, liver cleanse, you know, in the classical herbal way, you want to ask your longevity associate for Herbal Rainforest. Herbal Rainforest has 16 herbs, 16 cleansing herbs, classic cleansing herbs, and 77 plant minerals. That's right, and these are all organic. It doesn't get any better than that. In your busy day, and you're around all these toxins out there in your workplace, on the way home, going to work, in your food, in the air, in the water, you need herbal rainforest. I guarantee you, it will give you a cleanse. You can control the dose. It's a liquid. It tastes good. It doesn't get any better than this. A colon that's happy makes you happy. Nothing better than a happy colon. Herbal rainforest. Clean it out. For more information on this product or others you've heard about on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie radio program, call your local Longevity associate today. And don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. Greetings, everyone. Judy DeVilbus here. What do you think of when you hear the words tangy tangerine? Well, I think of like a sweet, tangy tasting something. Well, what I'm referring to is the ultimate tangy tangerine. It's a fantastic product. It has everything you need and a great benefit is it's very, very delicious. It's very easy to drink. I've suggested it even to youngsters. Even children like it. Even little guys. Even little girls. They come right into my office. Their parents can't get them to take those chewable and besides that, they're not as good as tangy tangerine. And I give them a little taste of that, and you know something? They're pleased as punch. So, if it's good for a child, and it tastes delicious, why not you? There's no excuse not to take a vitamin when it tastes as good as that does. So how about it? Tangy tangerine should be the answer to all of your nutritional program problems. For more information, or to order, call your Longevity distributor today. And don't forget to ask about Longevity home-based business opportunities. You've listened to physician and veterinarian Dr. Joel Wallach help many people on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie talk radio program. 
You've also heard hundreds of people tell how Dr. Wallach and Longevity products have changed their lives. If you're now convinced that Dr. Wallach is onto something and you want to try Longevity's premium quality products for yourself, we can connect you with a distributor that serves your local area. Simply call our special helpline voicemail at 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call right now and leave your name, telephone number, or email address, and we'll see to it that the right person contacts you shortly. Remember, the phone number, 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call now to change your life. That's 313-444-3463. I am Judy DeVilbus. Here I am speaking to you again. I just wanted to tell you that recently I started drinking the Whey Shakes again, the chocolate Whey Shake. And you need to remember, the Whey Shake isn't just for losing weight. It's a fantastic place to get your great protein. And if you're trying to gain weight, you can take it along with your meals. And the best part is, if you want to just have a great protein shake, do like I do. Put it over ice, stir it up, and you can sip on it for 20 minutes to an hour. I do it every single day. I absolutely love it. You need to get back to it, too. It's really good for you. And it makes not fat, but it makes muscle after you work out. And you can also mix it up in a blender with an egg, and you have the most incredible health protein shake. Or mix it with a little water, stir it up, and you have a little pudding. And who doesn't like pudding? For more information or to order, call your Longevity distributor today. And don't forget to ask about Longevity home-based business opportunities. Aromatherapy oils have been prized by ancient cultures for thousands of years. Longevity's ancient legacy, True Aromatherapy, is no exception. Essential oils are the fragrant life essence from plants that are gently removed through the process of steam distillation or expression. Longevity's ancient legacy essential oils are of the purest concentrations from the most respected and ethical distillers worldwide. Many of ancient legacy's oils come directly from families in the East, which have been distilling essential oils for over 100 years. These oils have been handled in a fashion designed to protect the integrity of the essence to allow for effective use in restoring balance to the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual nature of each customer. To learn more about aromatherapy and essential oils, contact your local Longevity associate today. And don't forget to ask about business opportunities. Through his research as a veterinarian, Dr. Joel Wallach discovered that most health problems afflicting livestock can be prevented and even reversed. Many of these same health challenges also occur in humans. These too can be prevented and reversed. Doc's original formula called the pig arthritis formula alleviated all arthritis symptoms in animals. The same basic formula has been developed for humans called the pig pack, which includes plant-derived minerals, a multiple vitamin complex, glucogel, and EFAs. Add to that Longevity's Osteo FX Plus, a proprietary blend of liquid calcium, magnesium, and glucosamine. Now you have the pig pack plus to make up the 90 essential nutrients Dr. Wallach has identified as necessary for sustained good health and longevity. If you'd like to learn more about nutritional supplementation, call your local Longevity associate. And don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. You've listened to physician and veterinarian Dr. Joel Wallach help many people on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie talk radio program. You've also heard hundreds of people tell how Dr. Wallach and Longevity products have changed their lives. If you're now convinced that Dr. Wallach is onto something and you want to try Longevity's premium quality products for yourself, we can connect you with a distributor that serves your local area. Simply call our special helpline voicemail at 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call right now and leave your name, telephone number, or email address, and we'll see to it that the right person contacts you shortly. Remember, the phone number, 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call now to change your life. That's 313-444-3463.
Hi everyone, Andy Anderson here. Are you using those handy little bottles of gel that zap germs, bacteria, and other nasties? In today's world, that's smart, especially with all the filthy doorknobs, shopping carts, and handrails we touch every day. Here's what you may not know. Once the alcohol evaporates, goodbye effectiveness. No more protection until you use it again. Pure works to the rescue. Our FDA-compliant foam, lotion, soap, and spray do not rely on alcohol. Their killing power lasts up to four hours. Pure Work Disinfecting Spray is EPA certified to kill swine flu, bird flu, MRSA, HIV, hepatitis B and C, and a whole host of viruses and bacteria. Mold and fungus too. It's even safe around children and pets. You'll love the soft feel of Pure Works on your hand. It actually conditions that will not dry your skin. Here's a little peace of mind knowing your hands are still germ-free hours later. Get your hands on Pure Works and get Pure Works on your hands. Stand by. Pull out your paper and pencil for your local number to order Pure Works.